hey, this is how to download the Fly Mod, which is also known as Zombie Mod Pack, and um, this is for 1.6.6. It should remain the same instructions, just a different one, different download for later models, like 1.7, etc. And um, there are three things you need to download. The links will be in the description. One is a mod loader, one is the Zombie Mac Pack itself, and one is WinRAR, or anything like that. But I have the WinRAR link in the description. First, you need to download all three of those things, and then just get back to the video. Pause it now. Okay, you need to have all of the three things downloaded, and once you have that, close out of Minecraft. That needs to be done before you can do anything else. Have easy access to the mod loader and zombie mod pack. You need to have those, again, easy to use. Um, just to be safe, we are going to also save your files. Go to Start run and then you need to type in percent app data capital 5 for percent a p p d a t a percent and click ok you will open this find a file called dot minecraft and enter it then you will find a file called bin enter that enter that there we go and inside of there there will be a minecraft.jar file if there's no minecraft.jar it will just be called minecraft right click on this and open with it will there will be an option open with and then choose winrar right click open with winrar and it will open this file keep both of these files here open but right now you're going to use the one you just opened minecraft.rar now choose your um mod loader pack open that oh oh i'm sorry right now right now Inside of Minecraft.jar, there will be a folder called meta-inf. Delete that folder. There's nothing important inside of it. Delete it. Now go to your mod loader. Just double click on it and open it. And good to go. Where is this? Oh, oh yeah, this part, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm doing a recording on a thing. Like, I, I recorded this, and now I'm doing a commentary over it because of technical problems. Um, if you go back to your .minecraft file, go to Saves. Inside of that folder, there will be a bunch of folders. They are all named the single-player worlds you have. What you need to do is copy all of those, make a new, a new folder on your desktop called Minecraft Backups, and I already have one. So go in there and then just paste it into that folder. That way you do not lose your single player worlds. This is always how you back up your files. And it's good to do this every two or three days or so. Okay. So that's how you back up your worlds. You just want to do that just in case. Uh, Where are we? Here we go. Open up your Minecraft .jar file. There we go. And open your mod loader. Just double click it, open that up, and have your mod loader on the right, have your Minecraft.jar on the left. Highlight all of the mod loader files, and then drag them into Minecraft.jar. You can have your cursor over a folder, over a file, it doesn't matter. It will put it everywhere it needs to go. There's an option called Add and Replace right there. You need to choose that, and then click Enter, or click on OK, and then you're done with mod loader, you can close it out. Now open up the zombie mod pack. Go to the folder called classes inside of the zombie mod pack. Highlight all of these files and do the same thing. Drag them over into your minecraft.jar. Add and replace. Click OK. Now right below um, there's a back button on WinRAR. You need to click it. <coughs> and you are done with your minecraft.jar. You can close out of that open up the other one dot minecraft make a new folder called mods m o d s um if you're ever going to have any mods like this one you need to open you need to make a new folder called mods do that now and then inside of mods create another folder called zombie z o m b e no I. Again, Z-O-M-B-E. Enter that folder. Go back to your mod... I'm sorry, go back to your zombie mod. 
go into the config folder again, if you're in the config folder, highlight all of those, and then just drag it on over into your new zombie folder. Drag it on over. There we go. You may exit out of your zombie download on the RAR form, but on the left where you just dragged it to, keep that open, there will be a file called config.txt, or just config. Click on that. It will open up a notepad thing, and now you need to go to flying, aka flymod, search down for it, or con press control F, which is what I do. This searches your file, your notepad, for specific words. Type in fly, make sure the direction is set to down, then click on the OK button, and it found me the first place where it says fly, that is flymod. There are a couple lines, fly, aka flymod and then there's a line below that, and then right below that it should say, it should have some form of character, and then mod fly enabled, delete the character before that, and that will enable fly mod. And then below that there are the controls, which fly down is Q, fly up is E, toggle fly mode is F, all of those are perfect and I would not change them, and then there's also another one, which is run fast. This is part of a fly mod. It's constantly set to left shift, delete that, and then put a capital C. That way when you want it to go fast, it is the C button. You hold down C and you press whichever direction, flying or just moving around and you go super fast. Then go down a little bit more. Go down a little bit more. go down a little bit more, there is a thing down there, it will have a bracket sign 1.0 dot dot 10.0 bracket bracket, you need to change that to bracket 1.0 dot dot 15.0 bracket bracket, doing that will um, make you go faster, here's what's happening right now, What are you doing? Right. That's right. That's right. And after all of that, yeah, you have to save the file. X out of all of that. Go to Minecraft. Go in, yeah. You can go anywhere, you just need to access your options. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Go to options. Go to options, controls, and change the controls F, Q, and E. Q at the moment is drop. E at the moment is inventory, F at the moment is control fog. I like to change control fog to G. I like to change inventory to R. And I like to change drop to Z. Doing this will make sure that all of the controls for the fly mod do not interfere with the controls for gameplay. Toggle fly mode by pressing F, and then go E to go up, Q to go down, and then press C and fly up, down, or go in any direction, and you will go super fast. And now you have fly mod.